Justin Gaethje and Rashad Evans cornered me in a hotel. Okay, swallow your food first. And they did this whole thing. They got me half naked. And they tell me, stand on this thing and start spinning. And I thought when I spun halfway around, they were both going to charge me and try to have me away with me. And I was worried. So I got this medal probably about three years ago, probably two or three years ago. This ain't your just roofing type of metal. This is for concrete. Man, I got all this stuff for 500 bucks. I mean, y'all know I'm a sucker for a good deal. I mean, this this could damn near support my weight. You know, I mean, this stuff is strong. Right now. It's really, really strong. But what I'm gonna end up doing after I finish this shed with it, I'm gonna grow jalapenos in these. Next year, uh, I'll have a lot of okra. That whole thing's gonna be filled up with okra. The goal was just kind of start out and just see what I like to grow and everything I grew I liked it so much that I'm gonna have to grow more of it next year. Uh, the building is come along a big ways. I gotta put some uh, a bathroom and a kitchen in it and a living room and add a gym to it and put mats in there eventually. It'll probably be after this fight I get mats over there. But uh, man, it's going good. Everything's going good. Now I'm four weeks out from the fight. I feel very prepared and I'm pretty uh, happy or eager to get in there and fight that dude. Uh, this is a Matt Viper shirt. It's homegrown fighter. Kidron got me this one for my birthday, so I got the, the hookup. Matt Viper also makes good rash guard and shorts for people who do jujitsu. And uh, they got some good designs out there, so that's real good. Oh yeah, I train in Matt Viper, rash guards and shorts that make good quality stuff. Tonight we're just working on finishing from the back, taking it, securing it. He's in fight shape already, so we're trying not to do like a big ramp. We're just trying to hover in good shape. Yeah. You see how mean she is? Don't get that on camera. This woman's damn mean. <laughs> It's, it's tough to talk about the matchup because there's there's aspects of Bryce that I don't know that I really want to put out there yet, you know? I think the Feely fight, and first of all, let me say I like Feely. Uh, I like him as a fighter. I like his personality. I actually am a fan of uh, Andre Feely. Very good, well-rounded fighter with the physical attributes to back up a good team. He's just, uh, he's not a Bryce Mitchell. Uh, I gotta put this on because I got cut up real bad. I ain't the kind of cutting up I want to do. Uh, I might just start wearing a helmet full time, even when I don't have a fight coming up. But uh, yeah, it's a good idea for a guy like me. I got cuts all up on my face. Coach says I'm special. You gotta protect that noggin. Yes, sir. What little is left up here. Feel he'll shoot takedowns. That's great. I love that, you know? And uh, obviously, he's not gonna wanna be on the ground with Bryce, but he's been in the game so long that he's gonna be gaming in every position. So. Uh, it's an interesting fight there. You know, he can't reinvent himself. He's going to be who, who he is. I'm impressed uh, that he wears a headgear. It's the most it's horrible training in a headgear. Uh, ever since he got cut, he's been training in it. Unbelievable. I mean, it gets in his way all the time. But, yeah, good for him. He doesn't want to miss out on this fight. I think he knows it's a good fight and he wants to fight. And For sure, it's maturity. Um, He's always been good about taking care of his body. I mean, if, I mean, he pushes himself really hard. He's like a racehorse, he'll run himself to death. But uh, yeah, it's maturity. It's exciting for me. I'm, I'm pumped about the matchup. Huge Andre Feely fan, uh, bigger Bryce Mitchell fan. With the headgear on, this grip works real well. I'm not gonna fight him fair. He won't get any work if I do that. Bryce is, you know, Bryce is gonna, is gonna finish Feely. He's gonna take him down, he's gonna finish him. Oh man, we're out of time. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> I usually see him two or three times a week. When he goes to the gym at Westside, he stops by afterwards and eats quesadillas. <laughs> so I stay involved in his life whether he wants me to or not. I call him all the time, make sure he's okay. He might not like it, but... Um, he loves food, period. So I get a chance to see him and 
tip for him and of course you know I don't like the thought of my son in a ring getting beat up or anything like that I I can't handle that I mean I, I just hope that he's smart and I pray every time before he goes to a fight I just don't like all that but that's his dream his choice his life I don't like that sport but I support him because I love him so if that's what he wants to do and that's his dream, then, you know, go for it. I think that conflict. Yeah, his birthday is this Sunday. He's gonna be 26 years old. He lives on his own. He doesn't, you know, ask mom for money or his grandpa for money. So he's independently um, on his own. So that's a good thing. I do like the fact that, you know, he's from Arkansas and a lot of people here in Arkansas are proud of that as well so it does raise some awareness about the state of Arkansas because some people um, don't consider Arkansas a worthy state I don't think but we are we have a lot of talent in this state I'm really proud of him graduating from college he promised me he would and a couple points he wanted to drop out I'm gonna drop out I'm no you're not no you're not I freaked out but then I am proud of him because he finally finished college so I'm very proud of him. Very. Mm -hmm. Thank you for keeping your promise. <laughs> I'm never going to use that degree, but I guess it you makes You never feel can better. tell. You can't fight the rest of your life. When you're 40 and 50, hey, you can't be in an MMA cage. If you fight right, you'll be done when you're 30. That's all I got to say. I opened this up today, and it was in the mail form. They're boxing gloves or whatever. They look like they're used to hurt people <laughs> they also made a little case for it that that he puts puts him in the case and so i'm sitting in a hotel room with justin gates and rashad they got me half naked and they tell me stand on this thing and start spinning it turns out when you do the spin it's this scan device it scans you 360 and they made me custom uh shorts and gloves in that bag and those are some of the best fitting gloves, the best fitting gloves I've ever had. They measure your hands on a machine so they know how much your hand does this. And then they got a double strap. And so this is a double strap. One goes left, one goes right. Thug Nets. So thank you, uh, Gaethje. Thank you, Rashad. Uh, thank you, Trevor Whitman. Thank you all very much for these, man. These are awesome. I'm telling you, these are crisp. Very nice gloves. He got a big board that said, said Thug Nasty. He took it there. I got to keep the little one, and he got this from the fireplace people. So when Bryce acts up, I'm just gonna knock him over the head with it. That's what that's for in my opinion. Yeah, I love you, buddy. <laughs> 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 Say that. <laughs>